Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal and I got a really good stock haul video for you again today. We got a really good selection of rare pieces that I've picked up at car boot sales. Stay tuned, find out what I got and what I'm going to make. Okay, just quickly before we get going guys, if you love antiques, collectibles, you're in the reseller business, then don't forget to subscribe because my channel's all about how-to videos. I go out buying antiques and I show you what everything's worth and how to identify it. So state your claim guys, make sure you subscribe. If the videos help you and you like them, I would really appreciate a like and a share to help me keep creating videos. Let's get to it. Okay, so um, the boot sales I've been to is Bessemer Road in Cardiff again. Um, we're still looking at some pieces I bought from a week or so ago and some that I've picked up this week because I want to resell them pretty fast. Now, you won't believe these ones, but I'm going to start off with these first. You can see the size on them. I think they're like a driftwood. They're like a driftwood mirror. Really thick wood, heavy. I'm not sure if they're uh, handmade or what. I don't think they're that old. But I tell you what, they weigh a ton. So, yeah, there you go. That's one. And that's number two. Both in lovely condition. Both very heavy. Uh, 40 inch by 40 inch. 40 by 40 got on them. I'm assuming that's inches. Really nice. Now, this driftwood effect, I know it was in a while back. I don't know if it's still in. But these were a five a mirror. Five pound each guys in Bessemer Road. You can't buy the plate for that. They were really, really nice. They're gonna go in the shop here. They're not going online, they're going in the shop. And I'll be chucking 40 or 50 pounds each on them. So that's ten to my money, ten times my money on those. So really, really pleased with those mirrors. I've started buying quite a few mirrors because I'm selling them fast. As soon as I'm putting them up, they go in. So I thought, yep, yeah, got to start looking at mirrors. Next, I've had a pair, and they're spectacular, really are, of candelabras. Candelabras is basically candlesticks with multiple branches. Now these ones, I'll be totally honest with you, I don't know what they are. So we got a pair. I put one down because they weigh a ton. Now. If you look, they're all wrought iron. They have some beautiful wrought iron work. This sort of Art Nouveau leaf in style. This is a glass cylinder. And then you got all the wrought iron work again on the top with the candle, you know, around the stems and the leaves and around the sconces. Now we found a couple of examples online where this is porcelain but they're not on, the, on my examples, they are glass. Now I thought Czechoslovakian, maybe 1930s, 1950s, um, but that's pure guess. They could be 1990s made in China for all I know, but I tell you what, they are real good quality. The amount of work that's gone in the raw iron, um, this has all been done by hand. Uh, you've got the glass cylinders. They look absolutely amazing. They're both in beautiful condition. Now I've paid £40 for the pair. I can't even show you research guys to say what they're worth. Because um, genuinely I don't know. I think they're absolutely spectacular. And I think a good set of candlesticks like this is going to be easily into the three figures, but they're going to be kept. They are going to my living room and they're going to sit on my very large dining table. So what they're worth doesn't really matter. I know they're worth a lot more than the £40 I paid from. So already two absolutely outstanding buys. The mirrors, they're going to return me £100. And the, light, uh, the candlesticks, and the mirrors only 50 so I've already doubled my money and I get to keep those beautiful candelabras one more can you ask for have a look at this one this is a weird one we 
razor town again. Now, this is some sort of sculptor, sculpture vase. Um, be no good putting bloody flowers in it, would it? With all these holes. It's hand blown. It has, as you can see there, that is what's called a ground and polished pontal mark where they snap off the rod and then ground it and polish it smooth. Now, I knew nothing about it. So, what do you do if you know some, nothing about something? You ask the seller. I said, very politely, I love it, what can you tell me about it? And he said they bought it new um, a few years back, him and his uh, partner. And they bought it from Habitat and they were reduced to a, from £100, I think it was, to £50 or something like that, he said. So originally we know now, it came from Habitat and it was £100. Now I paid him a tenner for it. I'd never seen anything like it. And to be honest with you, I've been doing the car boot sales for 20 years. And it's the first time I've ever seen one. Now I had a look online. Was it Habitat or TK Maxx? It was either Habitat or TK Maxx, he said. One of them was selling it. Um, I looked online and I found a couple of cups with this sort of design. But I can't find this actual sculpture. Um, if I can't find it online, then it's going to go in my shop for 35 maybe £40. It's in perfect condition, no chips, no cracks. Be careful, I'm putting it down on the glass counter. If I find it online and I find the name of the pattern, the designer and how much they're selling for, it's potentially going to be more. But in my shop, it's not going to go for less than £35. I'll put 40 on it and I'll wait for an offer. But it should comfortably achieve that because purely it's so unusual and I haven't seen one before. So already we're doing really, really well. Now I've got a... Did you see the video I put out last week where I bought the miners lamps and the miners checks? Well, the miners checks are doing absolutely amazing. The mine, one of the three miners checks that I bought for a pound each is on two hundred and seventy pound with two days to go on auction. The big Thomas and Williams miners lamp I bought um, has already sold for a hundred. And in that video, I give you a tip on buying miniatures. Well, guess where I found when I went to Bessemer this week. A miniature. Now this isn't just a normal miniature, this is a rare miniature. This one was presented to the visit to Bargoid, which is about 10 miles up the road, on the 8th of the 10th, 1925. Powell Dufferin Steam Coal Coal Limited. Now that's a rare beauty. That is as rare as they get. Now you can see in there the little seal, the washer is gone. But that means next to nothing because nobody's going to like this. To be honest with you, I can tip that out before selling. Just unscrew that. Bear with me a second. There you go. That's the washer's out. I'll pick that up in a minute. I haven't even got to mention that seal now. I'll just sell it as is because nobody's going to like this. This is a real collector's item. It's a gem really is but I told you what to look for didn't I look for the top and Thomas and, William, Thomas and Williams examples pull real good money but this is a pre presentation miniature and to be honest with you it cost me £45 the dealer had it on her table and she'd pulled it out of an antique shop and she had it priced at 95 in her antique shop and when I uh, picked it up on the table she said oh ignore the prices she was selling everything pretty much half price so I had it for £45 now I rated it about £150 to £175 these miniatures as standard sell for about £120 £150 the presentation on there adds quite a bit to, in my opinion so I think I'm going to ask £175 for this on my shop and it will sit there until a collector wants it. It is beautiful, absolutely lovely and it wouldn't surprise me if I get off at 120 150 somewhere around there you know, within hours of it going on and I'll consider taking it just for the profit. <laughs> but we'll see. But that is a real, real gem. Love it. Next one guys. Uh, off another dealer, a friend that I know, I'm friendly with a lot of dealers, been doing it a long time, we have a bronze vase. Now this one isn't very old, it's 20th century, it's 
quite roughly cast on the inside if you can see it down in there but it is beautifully cast look at the detail on that really nice detailed on this bronze vase now I think it's Japanese not Chinese and I, as I said I already think it's 20th century not a 19th century one however in saying that that is an oriental bronze vase for £20 for a score guys that's all it was and you've got elephant handles I rate that is again it's no way I'm going to be able to um, look at it up online they're going to be so unique um, I'd say I'm not going to struggle to get 45 but I'm going to ask probably 55 or 60 for it but 45 isn't going to be a struggle to achieve so already as you can see I'm doing really really well today final lots I want to show you today guys and then what I intend to do is do a little bit of research to show you on these ones I had a pair well they're not a pair I had two Milli Fiori paperweights now Milli Fiori paperweights are done by many many people let's look at this one for example now Basically, they have these Millifiori canes, they put them together, dip it in, they make, cover in glass, and then make the paperweight. What you've got to look for, they're not always signed on the base. A lot of these paperweights are signed inside the canes. Um, I know the Whitefriars one will have a monk in the cane, because uh, I've had quite a few Whitefriars ones, and the date. Um, you can have them by Bakra, by Klitschy. There are so many different makers of these paperweights, and paperweights can pull a stupid money. Now, I paid £5 each for these two. They're real good quality. They're hand blown with polished pontal marks. We just talked about polished pontal marks. Uh, so, these are both hand blown paperweights. They're both beautiful condition. Neither of them are signed, neither of them have um, anything in the canes that will indicate. Who made them however just as a millifiori paperweight a uh, good quality one they're 20 to 30 pound but we're gonna have a look now just out of curiosity and I'm gonna show you some of the prices some paperweights can achieve um, I was gonna show you then I should have a load of Caithness paperweights in the shop um, and some Chinese ones so if you bear with me before we go on to the internet I'm gonna show you just a few different variations that I've already got in the shop just so you can see the difference in qualities of paperweights okay guys so I'm gonna start off I've gone cheapest first I want to show you you can get some real poor Chinese copies of the Milli Fiori and they really are not very uh, good at all and they sell them for as low as 99 pence each so you can get the real bot men, so don't just think because they got canes in and that, they're worth money. Right. That one looks like it's a Medina. Um, as I said, they're not all good quality down in the low ends. I've gone up quite a few pages now to some that I thought were actually starting to look half decent. And you come across these now, they're starting to look good, even though... If you look at the circle of the Milli Fiori, it's not very well controlled, it's not very circular. Um, so there's still quite a cheap version, and they're pulling like £15. Pounds. Um, they start getting better here, that's quite nice with the twist canes in it as well. You know, you're starting to get up a bit better in the quality here, that's a nice one. So £15 pounds about the bottom you're going to get for a really nice Milli Fiori paperweight. Obviously then, they go up. 40 50 60 whatever it is that you're looking for that's quite nice i like that one it's damaged strathern millifiori paperweight there should not be selling for 15 pound for a strathern that is shockingly cheap that should have been up a 60 or 70 pound paperweight so there's obviously an area at the moment where you can buy paperweights cheap now what I've done now, I'm just going to show you quickly um, some high prices, just so give you an eye opener as a subject worth learning. Saint Louis, three thousand pounds. A Bakra, two thousand two hundred. Uh, Parabel, seven hundred sixty-six. Quite a few of them. I've never heard of that. Make Whitefriars Badela, five hundred 
575 pound for a white fryers it's not just the millifiori paperweights and things you can get victorian dumps and that with um, animals and things in the pull hundreds of money look at that it's got a little something in the centre cane there that's what you're looking for it depends what's in the canes it does guys now mine are simple flowers so they'll be about 20 30 pound each excuse me so just giving you an idea there you know on some prices of millifiora paperweights now I've come across you this is just search paperweight by uh, highest price all I've searched as you can see is glass paperweight highest price look at that these are actually asking prices now mind this is not sold prices 11 grand for a paperweight 10,000 5,000 that's gorgeous mine backer huh? you see one of these on a car boot sale you're doing all right guys and truthfully I have had white fryers and Bakra paperweights off a car boot sale I was only last week I had the St. Louis crystal claret jug so the stuff does come out look at the money's on it guys I'm waiting for the day where someone comes into the shop and says I got a paperweight collection and they got dozens of them and finally what have I searched you glass paperweight sold extends this time these are actually sold prices so these are all achieved prices guys look at it back row once again I haven't seen a clitchy paperweight St. Louis again look at that 900 quid for that one but you get the hint anyway there's a lot of money to be made in paperweights now the paperweights I've had as I've said they're gonna be 20 to 30 pounds each and that's absolutely fine for a five pound outlay I don't mind that I might make 20 quid each on them I'll put 25 each on them in here and they're a real nice one or they may even end up on eBay because they're good quality now the best way to photograph your paperweights if you buy in real nice milli fiori paperweights and that is you make yourself a box in that box you put a light a, quite a strong light put a piece of glass over the top with a plain piece of white paper so the light comes through as a diffused light you sit your paperweight on top and you take a photograph without flash and honestly oh, it is one of the best photographs you'll ever take I actually uh, paid and watched a course on how to photograph the best photographs from paperweights and that was exactly how they done it they made themselves a wooden box with a bulb inside lit it up piece of glass and honestly when you take that photograph the light to come through in between each of the canes and wow the diffused light coming through the paperweight looks spectacular so that's how you want to photograph your paperweights if you can to sell them on for the maximum profit don't just slap your paperweight down and take a flash like that because there are so many Chinese fakes if they can't see the quality you're not going to get the price you need the photograph to look good um, I'll probably try those in the shop for a while first and then they'll end up on eBay um, they are nice They're really nice in fact better than they look on the uh, film so I'm really pleased I don't know who's made them I'm not gonna know um, I'm happy enough just to know they're handmade they're millifiori they're probably um, a really good maker behind them but why some of them put paper labels on I just don't know so that's about it guys that's uh, the video for today you've got to see the candelabras you've got to see the paperweights the miners lamp the bronze vase the sculpture and the mirrors so six items is about average for what I'd normally do um, <laughs> what can I say some absolutely stunning stock again seems wherever I go at the moment I'm um, I'm stumbling on some of the best gear I've had in years really is spectacular so what can I say um, let me know which is your favorite and let me know how you're getting on on the boot sales guys because over here at the moment they're giving stuff away I really hope you've enjoyed the film if you have I would really appreciate a like and a share especially if you're overseas I'm desperately trying to break into the overseas markets guys so thanks for watching bye for now